Howdy guys, it's Al with Longoria House Dog Training. Hey, thanks for tuning in to my next virtual reality video. In this video, I'm gonna be working with Gumbo and he's actually learning the importance of being on our left-hand side. The things that I want him to get out of this is I want him to know that generally being on my left is a really good thing. I also want him to know that sitting by my left is a good thing. And then I also want him to know that moving together with my left leg is also good. And then I'll also be coaching his owners through how to do this. Well, hey, thanks so much for watching. Stay tuned. You know, you'll notice I didn't use the free command. I like to teach you guys commands, but I don't always, I don't always use them. I like certain things to be voiceless. You know, people will really make a big, a big deal about voice commands. And I like to teach you how to use them, but I like to not teach voice commands to my dogs so much. I like to teach them like a choreographed dance. So we're actually going to kind of teach a dance to the dog. See what I've done with my leg right here, how it's pinned up against the wall? That's a gate. It's pressure. And I'm really trying to block the dog from getting in, in front of me. Okay. And then I also have my, my leash right here to kind of help me with the dog. I've, on purpose, I've got the treat bag right there and you can see that he's very, he's very motivated by what I've got in there. He's a hungry boy today. <laughs> so what I have to teach him is I have to teach the dog the importance of being on my left. So you guys coming a little bit closer. What, one of the skills that I'm pretty good at and it's not so easy for beginners to do is to take the food yeah. and pin it underneath their thumb and then flip their hand upside down without dropping it. It's not that, it's not that easy to do that, but that's what I'm gonna ask you to do. So here, if I'm gonna tell him that my left hand side is important, I wanna get him into this box that's there, flip my hand and then twist my body and begin to feed him with his head generally pointing up. Once I'm done dispensing, you see how I close the gate? I close the gate and then it's gonna be scent motion and then I show him how amazing it is to be on my left hand side with the leash totally slack. Good boy buddy. What's what's how's the language going? It's scent motion and then I could add sound, right? So you know we could call this and we call a lot of things we could say, let's go. Good boy. We're just showing him that that means, you know, be on my left. So, scent, motion, let's go, and then reward. Good boy. We're not using the clicker right now, and you don't necessarily have to. I just want to show you that, hey, the left-hand side is really valuable. You don't have to step in front of him if you think that he's generally going to stay on your left. But if he starts walking in front of you, what I want to do is I want to be able to quickly be able to, to, to cut him off and tell him that I don't want you to get, you know, that's like coming across the front of the bed. Yeah. I want him to understand that it's important for him to be where? To be, you know, to be right here. Yeah, yeah I, I get to, it's, this is the crate door right here. Yeah. Okay. It's important for him to learn, to learn that just because something that you want entered the environment, I don't want you to go with it. So see, this is good here. Good boy, buddy. Good boy. There you go, he made a, a good decision there. Good boy. I'm just showing him how amazing it is to be on my, le on my left hand side. Good boy. Good boy, Gumbo. That's right. So. I can throw those and you can see I can use my leash, but I need him to understand that just because there's food on the floor doesn't mean that you can pull. It's just like any other distraction out there. If there's a distraction, it's his job to hang out where? By our side. Okay? So now if I want to tell him to sit, it's not all that difficult, okay, to tell him to sit. Generally, you just raise the food up a little bit higher and that'll make his nose pull his chest up okay. and he makes him sit. So like here, see how he's right there? If I bring the food and I just rest it a little bit higher, I have to become patient, he will eventually sit <laughs> and then I can bring the food in. But it is, a it is a measure of patience. Good, he's thinking about the food over there. See how high I've got his head? Yeah. And it's just patience. Eventually, eventually that'll work out to show him that I want you to sit. When would I say sit the moment that he actually begins to move his butt to the ground? Now, I didn't like that sit. That's why I didn't reward it. I really want him to sit right by my side instead of backing up. He's getting fresh. 
frustrated. Yeah, this is what I want. I want him to get frustrated because that frustration will drive him in the direction of the answer. So there you got distracted. So what are you guys learning right here and watch, watching the way, the, in the way that I'm dealing with him? Patience. Yeah, patience really, patience is key. But look, I'm not a jerk. I could give him some food right there because he's still fundamentally right. Mm -hmm. I just want him to learn how to be able to get into the sit. So not bad. I could go back to him and create the picture that I want. But I don't really want to do a lot of those. I want him to understand how to sit where I ask him to, not just because of that. Okay? Do you mind picking those up real quick for me? Yeah. So now what I do, let me ask you guys to take a few steps back. Okay? So the next thing I've got to show him, see, he doesn't really respect the front of our bodies all that much. You know, and I want him to understand that, hey, you don't get to walk in front of me. You have to walk by my side. It doesn't matter if there's a car, a bird, a squirrel. It's, it's your responsibility to stay with me. I don't necessarily like having him there so much against the wall, but I want him to <laughs> understand. Yeah, it's just a block. Yeah, it's yeah. not a block. That doesn't actually modify behaviors because there's no emotion. I'm just preventing him from going forward. Mm -hmm. So the next thing I want to show him is I want to show him to move with my left leg. Remember last week I said we lead with our left? Yeah. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the food to his nose, I'm gonna take a small step, and if he moves with it, then I'm going to dispense the food with his head being high. Let's look at that again, okay? I'm gonna click for your benefit so that way you know when I'm dispensing the food, okay? So I've got my clicker, I've got my, my technique, I'm gonna get there. See, and I'm real picky about not letting them eat food from where? The floor. It's important that they understand that the only way to get food in this exercise is by having your head up, okay, and that you have to be by my side. So I move, he moves with me, I click, and then I reward. You don't have to click. I'm just putting the click there so you can hear the timing of it. I move, he moves, click, and then dispense. Okay, here we go again. He's there, I move, he moves, click, and I dispense. And then one more time. Good boy. And this is not easy, my hand's starting to get slimy, so it gets a little harder, it gets a little harder to do that. If I want to create my set, I put it there, come up a little bit. Okay, good, he got that one a lot better. Wasn't perfect, but it's good enough to show him that that's what I want. So like a drill, if you're good at this, Let's do this without the clicker, would be to bring him over here, good boy, good boy, good dog, good dog, good boy, very good boy, good boy, good boy, good dog. Okay, did that make sense, guys? Mm -hmm. okay. Go to your bed. Good boy. Good try. I make that look real easily. It takes a lot of practice. Good dog. It takes a lot of practice to get good at that, but using your walls, like you, you over there in the dining room, mm -hmm. or using your walls right here, using the back of the couch, working up along the island, anywhere there that you have this kind of, you know, a, a bare wall, you can use that. You can use it to teach him the importance of You can also, like sometimes we'll change the orientation of the bed so we can start, you know, so we can start feeding him for being, you know, on our, on our left. Okay. Instead of doing so much stuff like up here in the front, yeah. we want to show we want to show him that hey, I want you to be on my on my left hand side. Okay. Any qu any questions there before I hand it over to you guys? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So you want to give it a shot first then? Sure. Okay, so go ahead and take him off. Okay. And then just go right next to the stairs, and that's a good place. That's a good place to start. Okay. So put your foot right up against the wall, and you're going to do that. So that's the block. Now relax this arm some, and now you're going to use this hand to get to the food. Yeah, use your knee. Now you'll take the food and you bring it where? To the nose. 
And you can ask him the question, are you ready? There you go. And I feed him. Okay. That's not bad for your first rep. Perfect. That's better. Feed that. I like how you told him to sit right there. Even though you were trying to tell him to back up, which is what you were doing, you said sit. Block again. Okay. Yeah, and just try to hold on to the very end of the leash. Okay. Try not to have anything, anything extra. Put the food. Okay, so you moved first. Yeah. Do scent first and then motion. You see how the order of language is still applies? So what's the order? Pressure, scent, motion. So it really is pressure, scent, motion. Good, you right? There. What's going to happen to you if you hold your hand up like that, the, there you go, then the leash gets twisted when you come in. So trying to keep your, trying to keep your right arm down will help you a lot there too. Feet again. You don't need to move, just feed that position. Try to keep the leash as slack as possible. Okay? There. But now, okay, good. Because we don't want to be feeding him with a tight leash because that's a contradiction. Okay. Can pressure and be Yeah, right. that's right. So just feed down. You can back up a little bit and just come straight down with the food. And just now, just hammer this nail for the next minute. Okay? Just feed him. And every time you feed, good boy. Okay. Because next week what we're going to do is we're going to differentiate, we're going to show him where you can pull, you can walk, or you can sit. But there's different emotions that we're going to associate to that. Okay. And, that, and that's how he's going to figure out what the best choice is. Good boy. Okay. Keep at it. You're not in a rush. Take your time. Make this very meaningful for your dog. Good boy. And I don't care here if he's sitting or if he's standing. It can be either one. Good dog. Good boy, Tanda. Yeah, good boy. Good boy. Okay, keep at it. Good boy, Tanda. There you go, that's good. There you go, very nice. Good boy, buddy. Good boy, Tanda. So let's think about this next more advanced move, okay? You're going to put food, and then you're going to take a small little micro step, step in front of them. You're going to take a small little micro step with your left, bring your feet together, and then dispense the food. So what, you, what your body's going to tell you is that your hand is, should move independently. I want your hand to really stay stuck to your, your hip, because that's the target for where he's supposed to move. Put the food to his nose, take a left step, small one, and then dispense the food. Good. Do it again. Okay. Get the food to his nose, small left step, and then dispense the food. Okay. And then you'll do it again. Great. He's learned the same thing. There you go. Good boy. Good so boy, so if we understand that scent motion, right? So it would be <laughs> scent and motion. Let's go. He does it. Good boy. Do you understand what I just said? So put the food to his nose. Take your step, say let's go, it's going to feed the dog. Good and boy. now you're teaching him to let go, let's go means move with my left. Do one more of those. Let's go. Nope. Because you started with sound. You start with scent, then you move, then you talk. Okay, step. Let's go. Does that make sense? Okay, go back down, and what I want you to do is I want you to get him by your side, reward that, take several steps, one at a time as you come to the end, and then make him sit and make the reward. This should take you about two minutes. Okay, block him, put the food to his nose, and then reward him for being on your left-hand side. Relax that leash. There you go, good. Okay, get the food to his nose. Okay, take a step. Let's go. Let's go. Feed the dog. Okay, hang there for a second and feed it. You're going to take two minutes to get right here. We're not in a rush. Okay, you can feed that if you want to. Okay. There's no particular order here. It's just showing him the different things that we want him to do by our left hand side. Okay. You're doing great. Good. Good boy. That's right. Take a step. That's good. Good dog. Okay. Good boy. I really want you to use your, your training, your military training here. When you're, uh, when you're defining this, what I saw there was a little yeah. shuffle step, okay? Look, I get it. I just want to distill it down to very, very simple that it's this, 
and, and, and that's it. Just for a little bit, okay? And if you can do that for this week, that'll be helpful. And so there, if you feel like you're going to drop it, then come in with your leg and not, and not let him get, get there, okay? Slap your line. Okay, get to his nose. Take your step. Good boy. Good boy. And say, let's go, as he starts moving with your left leg to make that association. Let's go. Good boy. Okay. Say, let's go last. It's going to be set, motion, let's go. Let's go. Good. Perfect. Good. Now let's get a sit out of him. Okay, put a scent to his nose. There, you got it. Feed the dog. That one's easy, right? And sometimes the dog will make it easy for us. We'll apply pressure to the leash, put him on the bed. Grab your knot. See the knot? Keep pressure there. Keep it on. Say, go to your bed. Go to your bed. Keep it on. Keep it on. Keep it on. Slap. Tell him what a good boy he is. Go away. Okay, you don't have to feed him. You don't have to. That's it. Drop your leash. Walk away. When he gets into the down, you can reward him. We're going to keep him there for a second. I liked everything you did today. That looked really good. As, like, so you're a little tired when you do this and because it's your first time doing mm -hmm. it. You'll be able to relax and then you should, you should make it a little fun for the dog. The thing, the thing that I'll caution you with this dog is if you start making it fun, you're going to start seeing jumping. Yeah. Okay? He's the excitable kind of dog that this also needs to be a calming exercise. Some dogs need this to be an exciting exercise. He doesn't. <laughs> You need this to be real slow and methodical, low tones, helping him that way as opposed to like, good boy, trying to get him to move with you. Some dogs struggle with that a lot. He's going to want to move a lot, but we're going to focus him. Okay. One thing I'll show you, this is a little bit more advanced, but both of y'all come over here. You know, I showed you last week that to put food in your hand and give him the command, but it becomes important now to maybe start taking the food out of our hands okay. and asking him to do something. So here, don't have you oh. in your hand in there. Actually hide the food. I want him to understand that I want him, that I want him to, you know, to go into the down, but the thing that I don't want to do any longer is I don't want to let him down. Good boy, I'll take that. I don't want to use the food any longer to continue the scent of the food to tell him to do it. Okay. I want to use my patience plus the hand gesture that I've been showing him for a week. And then when he does it there, then, then, then that'll work. Does that, does that make sense? I also stepped back a little bit because had he come off, I would have said, no, you have to stay on the bed. And then I, that allows me to be able to give my down command from a distance. Right. And that it's no longer based on you smell the food. It's now based, you see my hand, which is always led, and then if I stay down at the same time that he starts to do it, he's like, oh, okay, there's a translation there. And I guess we should start trying it from further, like, oh, when I was doing well, it last week, I was going right Yeah, you should, you should. Okay, okay. Yeah, and I, did, and, and I totally expect you to do what okay. you did, but now what we're doing is we're trying to make it a little bit more difficult. You still have to stay patient, but the dog has to figure it out. All right, get ready to switch pouches. Yeah, there you go. Switch. I don't know if I'm going to be as good. You're not. I mean, who cares? Who cares if you're not good? This isn't like to be perfect. If anybody's supposed to be showing off here, it's supposed to be me, right? But like, like really, like, I, like I, can't, I can't go in your office and do the things that you do. You've got formal training. Like, I can't do that. Like, I, like this dude can run for a like, like, If I go out there, I'm going to be wheezing. And like, in like, the, first five, the first three minutes, you're going to be like, that's all you got? You know, so like, yeah, like, screw up. Who cares? Okay, take him off. Remember, members, just keep it simple. You're just trying to show him how wonderful it is to be on your left. That's really what the focus of your training is. So take him back over. Block him off. There you go. Great. Now relax your leash some. Put food to his nose. Keep it simple. It's scent, motion. Now move out of the way to feed him. Okay? And so here, the first thing I'll pick on you is which way are you pointing? So try to stay parallel to the wall. So okay. like uh, when I'm looking at you right now, you were like this. Oh, okay, okay. And so you want to stay parallel to the wall. Just the way he learns that it's side by side. Okay, hey, that's good. That's good. Yeah, you're good. 
Yeah, and look, and it is a little drilled, and it's okay if there's nuance to it that it's not exactly the same as everybody else's. We're just trying to give the dog an experience. They're yeah, good. You just told him to sit. Did you see good how you did that? You just boy. raised your hand up, okay? Keep at this. And you don't need to block unless you feel that um, he's about to do what? Get the so here, should you feed this? You shouldn't. Because it's crooked as heck. There you go. Get the food to his nose. And now, there you go. There you go. Good boy, buddy. There you go. You got it. There. Feed. Good. The way that I train this is a little bit different. I actually hang a mirror at the end of the hallway that I do this training in, and I never look down at the dog. And they get to and I'm looking at the mirror, and the dog has to be looking up at me to drive this process. Okay. Here, we're looking down, so that becomes part of the communication that you have to Good look at the dog. But I'm okay with that. But like with my sport dogs, I'm looking like this, and they understand that that means heal, and then they understand that that means stay. Good boy, buddy. And that's the difference in leg commands, but I do it in a mirror, and then you know they, they learn as it, or I get a spotter. I get a spotter to tell me if it's right, if it's reward or it's because that the spotter knows my standard. Mm -hmm. But like here, you can look down, you can see what you want, but you're not in a rush to reward. You reward when the dog's met it. You're so close that you've got plenty of time to reward the dog. It doesn't have to be fast. There, you're doing great. Good boy. Good boy. So now, you know, put it to his nose. Small left step, just small step there, and then feed. Good boy. Good. You don't even have to say, let's go. You just show him that you move with my left leg. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Let's go. Good boy. That's going to help a little bit. Good boy. Good dog. Okay, go back and do it. Get him, yeah. Get him into a sit right there if you want. Sit. See how I said it? I, it was set. Motion, and then when you started to do it, sit. Good boy. And that's how you get your, your sit commands in there. Right? Can you go back and start over? Fantastic. You're not terrible. This is, this, is, this is great. Good. There. You're getting it. Look at that. Good boy. Good boy. So now take your time to get down here. Take a minute or two. We're not in a rush. Good boy. Now you can grab your clicker, 
move away from him, you keep him there, and then every 30, 45 seconds or so, there, there is a click. Okay. Okay? Is everybody learning stuff? Yeah. 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 Okay. I feel better about it this week. Last week was kind of so overwhelming. It's a, lot of, it's a lot of information. So that's why we have, we have several weeks to get all this training in. Good and you really never stop training. Yeah, yeah we try to just go ahead and sit down. down. So, yeah, and as you do this, like, you're, you're going to get more. So like this, this is a perfect opportunity. I'm going to walk out. Okay. I'm going to count to 10. Okay. I'm going to ring the doorbell. If he comes off, great. Take your time. Putting him back on. Okay. But if it looks like he's he's getting it right, maybe don't use your clicker. Maybe come in with the food. Like like if he's like if he's getting it right, you'll come in with the food to show him that he has to control himself. Okay. Like. But if he like darts off. Yeah. Then grab it. So if okay. he darts off, if he gets past you, mm -hmm. then grab the leash. And how slowly should you walk him back to the bed? Very. Okay. It shouldn't be wonderful to go back. It should be like, hmm. You <laughs> Give you time to think about your actions. Well, yeah, your well, behaviors are modified by emotional consequences. Good boy. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. You have to. There has to be some kind of emotion. So, like, if you just gently walk him back, will that produce any emotion? No. Okay. So yeah, we gotta see. We gotta see what happens. What, what are the <laughs> We had a house sitter. Yeah, so 
he's getting better. better. So he's getting better, right? Let him come off because he's going to want to. Put him back. You have your way. He has to move the direction that you tell him to move. Let him be. Snickers. Oh, that's a good dog. Yeah, like this is like this isn't unfair. This is him like having to do that. Yeah. Do that one. You know how to do that. She just knows to hit and shake. Oh my God! But I'm the dog trainer. I can teach her how to do some stuff. Don't you bet? See, I just, <laughs> I, just, I just got it, didn't I? <laughs> And I'm just doing this as a distraction. Yeah. He gets very jealous of her. Like, if somebody's petting her, he has to be right there. That's what I do. Listen, now, just to even... Yeah, because yeah. he never is like... Well, that's why, we're working, that's why we're working the skill. We're working the skill so that way he can understand. So, like, here, now y'all take over the board. Is he doing what we want right now? We'll work that. There you go. I'm going to ring the door down again. If he gets it right, that's why I'll ring the door down. Yeah. Good boy. 
boy. Good boy. So let's try something else, okay? What I want you to do is you're going to hear me open the door. When you hear me open the door, bring food to his mouth. Okay. Okay. If the doorbell rings and he's able to hold the down, immediately open your hand. Okay. Okay. So go ahead and bring the food to his mouth. Keep it closed. You're going to, yeah. Do it, yeah. Put the food to his mouth. Don't let him eat it yet. Okay. He has to hear the doorbell. And if he's still with the down, then he gets the food. Here it comes. several seconds. Now you're telling him this is how I want you to behave. Okay? We'll do it again. When you hear the door open, I'll give you about three to five seconds. He'll have the food at his mouth. Then we're going to bat away from that. Yeah, so what I mean is that you were holding him from coming off. Uh, I, was, I was there. <laughs> That's right. It was, it gets up where your hand is, there's a little bit of tension there. Uh, it's got to be slack unless he's off. Okay. Okay, so what have you guys learned today? <sighs> a lot. The left walking. He did really well with that because he's yeah. particularly food motivated. Yeah. The sinking yeah. into motion. And now, we're bored. Good boy. Okay. Well, that's your homework, you know, the, the, you know this, this stuff right here, okay? So you think we should get sneakers on as well and then... Absolutely. Maybe both. Absolutely. Yeah. Like, like, you can't, like, what, like, what's the disadvantage of, yeah, the, yeah like, the, both dogs understanding how to stay where you tell them to is a huge win. So I call, so that, the first one that I was teaching was spin, and that one I call twirl. But the way that I do it is I teach them just a little bit different, they have some advantages. So what you did is, you know what I mean by open-bodied and closed-bodied? So both, so my commands are open-bodied that I start moving away. When you gave the command, you came into your body, yeah, okay. and it makes a little, it, your dog did it. It makes it a little bit more difficult to teach a more advanced skill that is, this is the next step up from teaching spin and troll. So when you teach this, when you teach this, see how big of a circle I'm making? And I use my leg. I use my leg to kind of, so here, I do this, and it makes it easier. But then I teach the dog how to go through my legs. <laughs> and that teaches the dog's butt to actually complete the entire revolution. Y yeah? yeah? But then you can, you can name them. So it's, again, it's a, it's a sentence, right? So I can ask, are you ready? Are you ready? Spin to the dog. <laughs> okay, and then, hey, are you ready? Are you ready? You ready? Twirl. Good dog. Very good. <laughs> so you can do that, and the dog starts learning how to read yeah. this and, and that. Hey, thank you so very much for watching this video in virtual reality. I hope it brought you a ton of value. If there's anything that I can ask you to do, please share my content. It means the world to me. Anyway, this is Al. Talk to you later.